Hey everybody, Terry White here and welcome to another Did You Know? So today we're going to do two things. We're going to say, did you know you could generate a QR code for a business card or anything else? And did you know you can actually design that business card or anything else right here in express.adobe.com for free? So first and foremost, QR codes is under the quick action. It's got its own section now, so we'll just go ahead and click on that. And we'll click Generate QR Code. So at this point, a QR code is merely a graphic that uh, points people's phones to a link when they scan that graphic with their camera app. Uh, so in this case, I'm just going to go to HTTPS colon slash slash Terry Lee White dot social. That's the link to my social media. When I click create QR code, that's the code. It's already generated. If you pulled out your phone right now, that code would work. So at this point, I can now style it. I can say that it's gonna be square like traditional QR codes. I can make it rounded, kind of something different and neat. I can also choose whatever color I want it to be in, which is great if you're trying to match a design. And I can even choose what format to download it in. So I'm gonna download it as a ping file. When we say download, it downloads to your downloads folder on your computer. So it's your graphic to use forever. It doesn't expire. Even if you're a Creative Cloud subscription, even if you've never had a Creative Cloud subscription, that QR code will work forever, as long as that link works. All right, so next, we're gonna go ahead and create the actual design that it's gonna go in. So I've done some searches for templates. You can just type in whatever you want. I'm gonna use the one I just did, which is photographer business card. I'm gonna narrow it down to just business cards. So there's a nice one here that I like. It's a premium template. Because I have a Creative Cloud account, I can use a premium template. That's great. And now we can go ahead and just drop that, business, that, that QR code right on this business card. So when I click Photos and I click Upload Photo, it's asking which photo do I want to upload. So I'm going to go to my Downloads folder and grab that QR code, which was the last thing I downloaded. And there it is. I can now click on it. I can move it around. I can resize it. I can put it anywhere on the business card I want. We'll leave it right here for now, but we're going to put it over on the right as soon as we clean things up. So now we just work on the template. So first thing is the text. That's not my name. So let's go ahead and put my name in for my business card. And then that's not the photography I specialize in, so let's go ahead and do that. I specialize in portrait photography. Oops, hang on, I didn't get that highlighted quite right there. Portrait photography, there it is. And um, I would change the phone number and, and email address, obviously, but the next thing I wanna do is get rid of this social media or clean it up. So it's grouped together. Some of the templates are grouped together so you can move things around as one. But in this case, I want to ungroup them so that I can get rid of the one I don't need. I don't need the Facebook one. I do want to keep the, um, the Instagram, but I'm going to go ahead and just keep the shape that's applied to it. So I'm just going to go ahead and highlight this text, delete the text, and keep the shape. And then lastly, I'm going to come down here to the, oh, did I delete too many? Luckily, I can undo, 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 and put it back. There it is. I'm going to go ahead and uh, go to this one, which is the Twitter. And let's go ahead and just simply make that. That's at Terry Lee White, just like my Instagram. So now they're all one thing. I can go ahead and get that left or right aligned, just like the rest of the text here. We'll kind of keep that in place. And then we can go ahead and grab this one, which is just the shape, no longer the text. And we can put it right next to it. And we can even, it looks like it's a little bigger for some reason. We'll go ahead and scale it down, it's nitpicking, and get it right where I want it to be. All right, so now that it's there, we have room for the QR code, which can also be right aligned, thanks to these great smart guides. It helps me align things and keep them nice and neat. And then we get rid of this leaf because I don't take pictures of nature and leaves, at least, at least not on purpose. Now let's go ahead and go to photos one more time. But instead of uploading the photo I want to go there, I'm going to choose the little three-dot menu here where I have the option to go to my Lightroom photos, which is where I keep all my important photography. So now we can go ahead and just choose which album. I'm going to say, show me all the albums. And then I'm going to say, uh, go to my TWP, Terry White Photography, and go to my portraits, portfolio, and grab the photo I want to use for this business card. It comes right in from Lightroom. I'm going to close this panel to get it out of my way. And then we'll just move this, we'll have it bleed off to the edge there. We'll move it up and scale it down. And that's it. That's my new business card, minus the phone number and email address. But you got it. 
So now at this point, if I wanted to uh, use this business card, I would just go ahead and click download. I can download it as a PDF, which is great if I'm sending it to be printed or a high resolution J JPEG or ping file if they accept JPEGs and pings or if I wanna use it on social media. And that's it. My business card is designed with a scannable QR code that takes them to my website or anywhere else I want them to go and away I go. Cheers, everybody. Thanks for watching Did You Know? And we'll catch you on the next one.